Okay, let's say I want to tie a uh, string to my to a stick. It might be to a cross piece or to the keel. Okay, I'm gonna use a clove hitch. Okay, so I wrap my string around the stick. Okay, and I go back around and I go around again on the other side of this string right here. And I come back through this loop that I've created right here. Okay, when I pull it tight, I get something that looks like this. That's called a clove hitch. Okay. Now sometimes that clove hitch is not as tight as we'd like it to. And we're afraid it might slip. We certainly don't want it slipping while the kite is in flight. Okay, so there's a couple things you can do. You can tie a little overhand knot in the end, okay, of the string, okay. Now when we tie our clove hitch, go around one direction, we keep on going around the stick the same direction, but on the other side of this line, we come back out and go through this loop right here. Okay, now, when I pull that tight, pull it together okay if it does happen to slip if it does happen to slip this guy this knot here is going to keep from getting in the way let me get it closer so you can see how that might happen uh oh okay so you see it doesn't it doesn't come undone very easily Okay, now there's one other way you can do it. There's a clove hitch called a constrictor clove hitch. Now, a, clove, a, a constrictor clove hitch is not going to come undone. In fact, I've had some constrictor clove hitches where you actually have to cut the knot, cut the string in order to make it work. You start off doing the same thing as you do with a regular clove hitch. Go around the stick, go back around the stick, and through the that gap again. Okay, so we're basically at, you see, we've basically got the clove hitch. But stop, instead of stopping there, we go around the first loop and back under. We're still going the same direction as we've been doing on our turns. Okay, we go around the stick. Now notice how, what's happening here. I've still got my clove hitch, but I got it looped underneath that first that first uh, loop. And that thing is, is the more it tightens down, the more it constricts the end of my string. Okay, and that baby is going to have a hard time coming loose. Hard time. That's a constrictor clove hitch. Okay, a couple of variations. Okay, this is more like a double clove hitch, okay? We'll go around the stick twice, then we cross over this line right here. Okay, so we've crossed over now. Now we we'll go around this, but now we, we go we, we uh, circle inside. We'll go inside once, inside again. And notice how this looks compared to the first clove hitch. It looks very similar, actually. Well, maybe not too similar. But that's a pretty nice string right there. Okay, pretty nice. That's, that may be solid. Okay. So once again, let me show you that again. I'll tell you the truth, I'm not really sure what the name of this is, but I've used it many times. Okay, so I've got my stick. I cross the stick. I go around. Okay, I go around once, around twice. Okay. And I cross over, cross over all that, go around through the loop, and around the stick and through the loop again. Now when I pull it tight, I've got this right here. Okay. Kind of like the clove hitches in the middle of here 
On the other side, you have the uh, lines cross each other. Okay. Okay, there you have it. Have fun.